personalities, and I'm shutting down immediately. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you 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 can't die here. Well, I mean, what I mean is you can die, but don't because that's game over. <laughs> Cosmos, I'll explain a bit about this place. This place is an imaginary space constructed within the network. It's modeled off of some ruins from early 2000 AD. Uh, which is when this game was made, so... I have to assume that they, they mean... Like, 2030 or something like that. Your mission is to fight the main target within the dilapidated v building. The target is marked with the red vector box. There are objects in here that can be detonated. Some are effective if you set them off near the enemy. Use them to your advantage. Now then, let's start the mission. Um, yeah, fine, we'll explain destroyable objects a bit. I'll try to rush through it a little bit here. Uh, when you get close enough, it'll turn, there'll be, yeah, a blue target hit square. <laughs> uh, you can use LN1 to cycle through them. L one and R1. Yeah, I get it. They ain't go over types, though. Types are important. Alright, then. Let's start the mission. And we can run around. Do I see any objects just yet? Okay. So, I think if I'm close, if this guy comes closer, I can hit this object and it'll still affect him. But he is taking forever. What the hell are you doing, dude? Get down here! Forget it, I'm just gonna fight him. He's not gonna be that tough anyway. They are helpful in battle. But... Okay, here we go. They are not necessary, by any means. And he's got 50, so... Uh, and I get points up for killing him. Nice, that's a good way to start. Is this gonna be enough? Yeah, down he goes. Points times two, not that great. Go ahead and finish this guy off. I think they're weak to physical. A little bit more than normal. Ah, they're weak to criticals. And I loved how they said that the last one was uh, real combat, but as you can see, we got a full heal afterwards, so don't know if it really worked. Uh, is this I don't think this is gonna kill. I just have to hope. Ah, I killed it. Never mind. I was hoping for. Yeah, you got some good data, but I didn't get my points up. Which is what I wanted. As you can see, there, finally, we get some separation there. So, we got some actual good experience, some money, some good points up. Very, very nice. And we got a couple med kits. Those are. Well, they're healing items. They're like potions. Or tonics or whatever you can head over here though and this will lead you to I guess a secret ladder they did kind of hint that there was something up here right we went over this L went yeah so you want to blow up that one oh I didn't get them I was supposed to hit the red one first I didn't think it would last long enough, to be honest with you. Okay, so... Yeah, the red one stops on You want to do that. <laughs> Cherry Bomb should finish this guy off. Yeah, it does. Of course, he gets to turn on critical, and it doesn't do anything. Let's kill this guy. It's, yeah, dead. And now it's her turn, and then we get the points up again. I think it's more... That'll, that'll finish him off. And points times four. There we go. Let's go on. I will start cutting these out eventually, but this one, it's still tutorial. We're still kind of learning. You want, I, want, I want you guys to get a feel for the flow of this. And then we can go... We, we can start cutting stuff out in a little bit. Did I, did I do it? No, I didn't. I need to do it from the front camera. Work with me. Work with me. I... Camera is not working with me. Okay, I made it to the front. There we go. And we got two medkit S's. S means that is a little bit more powerful. So medkit S's. 
much appreciated. Let's get down here. Yeah, the the ability to control your character is a little spotty at times in this game. I must admit, as much as I love this game, I, I, I can't ignore that. Uh, you can lure enemies. I don't think I need to. What, what do we got here? Nothing. Now. Sometimes there's like hidden stuff there. All right, run, 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 run. Can I get them to hit this? Ah. The yellow one slows. I wanted to do that. I wanted to slow you, but I couldn't. Oh well. It didn't. It did, locked on. Commencing combat. Did not nearly have the range that I was hoping for. Yeah, this guy needs to die. Easy enough. And I got a critical nut that I needed it. And this guy should die as well. 68 is all I need. Ah. Hoping to get that the first time so I can show off another, another tech, but they're not giving me the opportunity. <laughs> God. You hit Coast Master, really. That's not going to do much for you. Uh, I think I can finish it off. Nice. Down it goes. First times two for that, though. Dr. Miyuki's in or Miyuki, not Dr. Miyuki, I don't think. And we got a level up. Very, 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 very nice. And as you can see, you get quite a lot of HP. 27 and 33. Yeah, we'll be we'll be getting thousands and thousands, of course, by the end of this. Fortunately, I did not get the uh, any of the destructible items to work this time. <laughs> Nothing more up here. So let's head down here, and I already wasted this one, fortunately. I'm not doing so great here, so far. Here, we can open up this, and head inside and get another med kit. I'm a little confused, I thought. Ah, of course. How could I forget? We need to go through here. I knew there was one more thing I needed to do. But we can head through here, and you can see on the on the little mini map where our enemies are. I mean, they give you every opportunity to to spot these things, to get around these things, anything you could ever want, including a door that we can do absolutely nothing with right now. For now, we will get to a point where we can do something with that door, but or else. But there is nothing that we can do just yet. All right, let's finish this guy off. I'll start cutting him out after this one because this one, yeah, it is the same fight over and over and over. This guy needs to die. I remember that. God, Cosmos is so much more powerful. Critical hit. Oh, she's down to under half. That's not good. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, her turn. Yeah, just whatever. Finish it off. Give me the points. That is all that I want. My external appearance is down five percent. Chion, I need to be clean. There we go. Look at that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Another med kit too. They give you every opportunity to heal. All right, I'll be cutting out battles from now on if I can figure it out, which I should be able to do. Let's head up here. And can I sneak attack this guy? No! Run! <laughs> I couldn't run away! Sometimes you can. Sometimes you need to. So, looks like there was something shiny back here. We have another destroyable object. And I go through the door. No need to destroy that. I don't think I wanted to go through that door just yet, though. No, I did not. That is not the door that I wanted to go through. We do see a shiny golden object, though, uh, which is great for other things. Well, we'll get to that. All right. Can I actually use this properly? Did I, I think I got him. I think I got him just in time. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Plus one boost. It, that's what stock gives you, which is nice. Okay, let's finish this guy off keep this in just because we got the boost and I'll make things a lot easier for me. 
points times ten. Nice. Guess what? You get another turn. I should be able to finish all these guys off. <laughs> I don't think I even need to do the second attack there. Just finish him off. It should be easy enough. I don't even need to use my other boost. God, you love Let's go. Boosts are great when you're trying to get those points, by the way. Because then you can quantify who gets that next turn. Which is always nice. And then we will use those, those points later. We'll get to that. Uh, so I didn't go this way. There we go. We can see, we can see the door down there that we cannot go into. This optional door. But if we head over here, we can blow this up and get a floating item, a revive, in case somebody should faint or die or whatever you want to call it when they pass out and I can't use them anymore. Ugh. But the enemies, enemies do respawn here, which is not nice. Ah! I did get him once again. Nice. Let's see if we can head over here. And... No, it's locked. Of course it is. Uh, should you want, you can level grind a bit right here. This is a great spot to level grind with this red thing. Because I can one shot, well, one turn kill all these guys without ever getting any damage done to me. Uh, let's go ahead and look through the menu just for a second because I do need to heal. Uh, as you can see, I have a ton of med kits. We might as well use them. You get 50 out of each, so just one each should be fine. Um, you can see th this huge list at the at the top. Um, going across of all the different kinds of items you can have. You have items here, special items, character weapons, character accessories, character ammo, eggs weapons, eggs accessories, eggs ammo. Hopefully we can fill that as we go along. Damn it! <laughs> You're canceling this backwards. Okay, can we do any t can we do any upgrading of tech attacks yet? Um here we can, we can see the list of all the different types of tech, tech attacks that we can use. Basically, if you're close, Xion uses Lightning Blast. If you're far away, she uses Spell Right. Uh, I do want to see if I can use the tech points that I do have. As you can see, uh, we have Speed, Tech, and Weight. What I want to do is I want to go for speed. I want to save my tech points for the speed on at least one of these, probably spell ray, to be honest with you, first. So I don't have enough for, to want to do that just yet. Cosmos, of course, has our blade and our cannon, which we'll get to later. And sh she requires more tech points in order to, to speed that up, and speed is, is very important. <laughs> to what I want to do, you'll, you'll see why later. In terms of ethers, you know, we might as well look at all these. Uh, what do we have? We have Medica, which of course heals. Can I use ether points enough to level that up? I can. So this is how you evolve ethers. So we want to evolve Medica. We want to, yeah, you can either evolve it or transfer it. I don't want to transfer it just yet. We'll get to transferring later and why that why that's a good idea. But for now we want to evolve. We can either do analyze or goodbye. Now to be honest, I don't remember everything that that's along this line. Are you going to let me know? Oh yeah, well goodbye of course escapes. Analyze items and HP and all that kind of stuff. We'll go for Analyze for now. I will be leveling these up all the way. But to be honest, I don't remember exactly. You know, there's not a certain ether that I'm looking for from anybody. So yeah, we'll, we'll just go for Analyze. Not that it's really that important. It'll cost us a lot more ether points in order to start evolving or transferring that. Even though Medica is a lot more useful from what I remember. All right, let's go back. Can you set? Yep, set. So now she can actually use it in battle, which is important. You can only have 
four from what I remember. There could be more. Maybe it's just, I I'm thinking four ability points to use it. Do you have anything? You have mode A7, focus physical attacks, which of course we cannot level up just yet. Then we have skills, which we have not looked at just yet. Do you have anything to extract? No, because we don't have anything equipped. So, hooray. Do you have anything equipped? She might. Cosmos might have something. Yeah. No. Too bad. Too bad. Okay. Characters. I don't think we really... Yeah, it just goes over. Equip. Unequip. She's got the MWS for her weapon. Uniform. Protector which gives her more defense, and the scope, which displays the enemy information. That's why we can see it, and why she has an ability that does the same thing that we've been able to do this whole time, which is kind of weird if you ask me. I don't think I, yeah, I haven't picked up anything or anything like that. You can also use tech points here to improve, well, stats, as you might expect. Uh, we can improve anything except for ether defense. Actually, could we use the tech points before I... Yeah, we could have, but I'm I'm saving those. I'm saving those. <laughs> we could have used those on the techs, of course. Cosmos has better stats. <laughs> That's the only way I can put it. I is there anything that oh Shion's faster. Sh Shion has an agility of eight. Cosmos has an agility of seven. Everything else, Cosmos is either equal to or better than Shion. That's why she's a battle android. Uh, battle formation, that is fine. UMN, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I have gone over the menu enough. We need to head this way now. Nothing more to do around here. So let's just head over here. And as we saw before, there's a shiny golden dang. But first there's a scene. We couldn't get to the shiny golden thing just yet. No, of course not. Where the hell did that thing come from? It's the freaking Terminator, man. Terminator Robocop. And it's boss time? Yeah, we'll go with boss time. All battle systems are go. Uh, this is your introduction to eggs. In this battle is possible to pilot an eggs by selecting eggs in the sub menu. Yeah, I don't think I have a choice. I think Sean has to go into the eggs. I don't like the eggs. Use the right and left directional button. Yeah. Yeah, sure, there is fine. You can, you can decide where you want it to go. And Jion gets into a giant mech robot. And that is what eggs are. They're giant mech robots. Similar to uh, Xenogears, but, uh, I, you know, I don't want to spoil too much. I would say they're not nearly as powered as the one in, in, in Xenogears. These ones are, are not on the same level. Yeah, after that's called, that's the end of your turn. Okay. So, I believe what I want to do is just do a blaster and stop. Ah, she got a defense off anyway. Very nice. Okay, so, because, as you saw, I did get the guard off, let's go ahead and do... Blaster, blaster, our cannon. I don't think we saw that one before. Nice. And he shouldn't be dead just yet. No. Controlling the eggs. The battle's over! The battle's over! Like, I'm finishing him this turn! Uh, consumed AP vary with each weapon. Uh, you can see ether points, you can see ammo, you can see how many ether, uh, ab ability points that it uses. The submenu will change slightly. Uh, now we have W-Act. Uh, 
when you have the same weapon on both arms, and you, then you can use both of them. That's what WAC does. Items, of course, which is grayed out because you can't use it. This is another reason why I'm not a fan of, of using the eggs. Move. Yeah, so that you can move. You can move back and forward. You can get out of the eggs. Now the arrow is pointed down so that it shows you getting out instead of up like it was before. And then, of course, you can guard. You will not be able to recover during the battle if the egg's HP reaches zero. That's kind of important. You don't get to use the character anymore. Let's go for, I think it says SWORD 21 AG. Is that what SWD stands for, SWORD? I think it is. It is. Is that going to be enough to finish him off? Oh, yeah. Down he goes. Like you said, boss time? Yeah. Honestly, I didn't need the eggs for that. Uh, he's weak to lightning, of course. Yeah, uh, most mechanical enemies don't give off ether points. It, it's more of a biological thing and an other thing, which we refer to as gnosis before. But we don't know what that is just yet. And that's not a tough battle. He's weak to lightning, which, of course, Xion has. She has lightning blast. I could have finished him off without the eggs, which is why I usually prefer not to have the eggs. Status check. I, I won. Anything unusual. All systems are stable. It's looking good. This ought to make up for last month. I, I sure hope so. Cosmos has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type G drones. Commencing display. Type G drones. Oh shit, we got the others. We got the Gnosis. Chief, I've changed the settings on the target drones. The next target is keyed to sound, so it will only respond if you make a loud noise. You can move quietly if you hold down the R2 button while moving. Thanks for breaking the fourth wall, Alan. Also, the thing behind you is a save point. <laughs> you can save your progress. Just what fourth wall? Just does not exist. And since Alan so highly recommended it, let us use the save point. And you just hit the uh, circle button and it'll automatically bring up the memory card. Do I still have my old data? I don't. Ouch. Why did I delete that data? Now I'm sad. Oh well, we'll get new data. Let's go ahead and save here. We'll show that once. And then you'll never see this screen again. So, level two, been playing for an hour of five. Feels like it's been a little bit longer than that. But, either way, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga. I've been Bala Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by Shion, Uzuki, and Cosmos, the Battle Android. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.